We are making a five ingredient Thai peanut curry and you are gonna love it because all you have to do is throw everything into a slow cooker and let it do its work. It is that easy, it's so creamy, so delicious and it's also vegan with super basic ingredients. So you can use whatever protein that you like. I like some tofu or some high quality fish but it is super adaptable to whatever your preference is. I'm also going to show you some extra ingredients that you can throw in along the way, but if you don't have them, the base five ingredients is perfect. And I've tried it many times and it is super delicious with just the basic five. So let's get into this recipe. So into our slow cooker, we are adding 500 grams of a protein of our choice. So this can be tofu, fish, chicken breast, beef, anything that you like and that fits your diet. I'm using some frozen hokey fillets here because it's convenient and fresh. A can of coconut milk or coconut cream. And pour the whole thing into the slow cooker. A third of a cup of creamy peanut butter and I make sure to always use a brand that doesn't have any added oil or sugar and minimal salt as well and I love this brand of peanut butter from New Zealand it's delicious then we add two tablespoons of soy sauce and I like to get this low sodium one I also try and make sure that it's an organic brand wherever possible because soy is one of the highest GMO foods in the world two tablespoons of lime juice or rice wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar anything that's acidic because that will help really offset those sweet flavors then we add it to our slow cooker for about half a day or overnight if you like. I like to do this before I go to sleep so it's ready in the morning. Then we need some carbs to serve with it so I like to have brown rice or a little mix of brown rice and cauliflower rice as I have here to lower the carbs. You honestly cannot taste the cauliflower rice at all so I put this in the trusty slow cooker as well. And that's literally for our beautiful Thai peanut butter curry. As you can see, it's just ready the next day. I also like to give it a stir halfway through if possible, or if you've done it overnight, you can just stir it in the morning. Make sure you also taste it for flavor adjustments such as salt or maybe a pinch of red pepper chili flakes, whatever you like. Such a great quick lunch for those weekday working from home or from the office or like a really nice dinner as well with your family and friends. Guaranteed they are going to love it and they're not going to be able to tell that it's super healthy for you. So I basically just serve some rice slash cauliflower rice, brown rice mix, and then pour some curry on top, making sure to get some of that protein and vegetables. And I, of course, I always like to have a massive salad as well because that will keep me full. And if you're making this for meal prep, I divide it into six containers and then I add some salad and then also some of the brown rice and then I freeze that. And you can freeze it for a about up to a month and the day before you want to eat it you just simply defrost and microwave. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try this recipe at home. I know that I feel so super nourished when I eat this curry. It is just so full of healthy fats and just really clean ingredients. And that's what gives me the most energy throughout the day. This is also a great meal prep recipe, super freezer friendly and definitely can be made low carb. Like try having it with a salad or roasted vegetables or cauliflower rice. You know, that's my favorite. Yeah, the healthy fats really help you glow. So if you did like this recipe, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. And if, make, if you make it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Make sure you also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.